Chop! Drop! Slap! Tap! Hop! What the heck is going on here? I don't know. Shouting words that rhyme with plop. Well, I'm trying to read, so stop. Oh, that's a good one. Thanks, Pear. <laughs> no! Attention, everyone. Your attention, please. I have completed my most remarkable invention yet. A cloning ray. Whoa! What's a cloning ray? Why, it's a laser beam capable of creating an identical clone of living organisms. Well, not identical. 99% identical anyway. I'm still working out some bugs. Oh, I know a bug who works out, although I think he's Beetlejuicin. <laughs> Wait, was that a joke? Because I don't understand most jokes. At any rate, here's the big news. I am now ready to test my cloning ray on an actual person. Oh, oh, me first, me first. Why are you so excited to get a clone, little apple? Cause then the two of us can stack ourselves inside a trench coat and get onto the big kid rides. Just hop right up onto the pedestal, little apple. Uh, there's a step ladder for your convenience if, uh... Thanks! And now to test my cloning ray. <sighs> Could have done without that. <laughs> Re-aiming and here we go. Wow! How do you feel, little apple? Well, a little under the weather. More like a little under the cloning ray. <laughs> Orange! Friends, allow me to direct your attention to the clone animation chamber. Oh, can we call it the clone zone? I think we should call it the clone zone. Trademark! Look, you can see little apples clone forming inside. Whoa! Whoa! Now, the clone will remain in suspended animation until I pull this lever and animate him. He, um, looks kind of big, don't you think? Perhaps it just appears that way through the glass. Light refraction and all that. You know, the sciencey things? Uh, I don't think that's light refraction, dude. What the heck is going on? I thought you said a clone. A clone is an exact replica. As I said, it is only 99% accurate. There is likely to be one thing different about each clone. It appears in this case that that one thing is the clone size. It would be, wouldn't it? Now, would you like to meet your clone, little apple? Why would I want to do that? He can get on the big kid rides without my help. I'm so out of here. Very well. Little Apple's clone will be placed in storage along with the other members of the clone army I'm building. What did you just say? Nothing at all. Who would like to try next? You know, Orange is ready to roll. <laughs> Very well. Just hold still and voila. Whoa, it kind of tickles. It's making me gassy too. <laughs> The process is complete, and it appears to be a smashing success. Oh, no. Um, Dr. Bananas, what's the cartoonishly ominous alarm all about? <sighs> Orange, I think you should sit down for this. Way ahead of you, Doc. No legs. <laughs> this clone is identical to you in every single way, Orange. Sounds like a great guy. <laughs> in every way, but one, that is. Uh, how's he different than me? Oh, no. He's not annoying, is he? An annoying version of me would be the worst. No, Orange. It's much, much worse. Your clone is evil. <gasps> <laughs> I'm sorry, Orange, but we cannot let your clone out of the clone zone. He's far too dangerous to have roaming free, and we... <laughs> Wait, what's happening? Here's Orange! <laughs> Everyone stand back! There's no telling what he might do! Not quite as evil as I had expected, but it certainly is annoying. <laughs> Not evil? Yo, what you talking about? I'm super evil. In fact, I'm about to perform my first evil deed, and it's a doozy. What are you gonna do, evil orange? Yeah, what are you gonna do, evil me? Get this, I'm gonna blow up the kitchen with TNT! <laughs> Hello. It got quiet in here. Evil Orange? Regular Orange does that, like, every week. Multiple times per week, I'd say. Oh, I see. Well, brace yourselves, because I'm about to get even more evil. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Instead of blowing up the kitchen, I'm going to do something far more sinister. I'm going to constantly annoy all of you day after day, week after week, year after year. I'll prevent you from reading things. Heck, 
I'll even prevent you from having anything resembling a normal conversation. <laughs> um, who's gonna tell him? Uh, Evil Orge, you see, regular Orge already does those things. He interrupts everything we do with... Please continue. <laughs> uh. If I may interject, it's very, very important that we get Evil Orange into storage before he... escapes. Oh my gosh. You mean to tell me Evil Orange is wandering around the kitchen and we don't know where he is? He could be anywhere, even right here. Oh, what a relief. Yeah, Evil Orange could even be right there. Wait. Uh-oh, which one's Evil Orange? Is it me, or me, or me, or me? <laughs> I, I, I can't distinguish them. They have equal evil readings on my evilometer. Wait, I know what to do. Orange? Yes, Pear? I have something to tell you. I've decided to ask Passion out on a date. <laughs> Who cares? No, don't do it! The one on the left, Dr. Bananas, that's Evil Orange. Up to storage you go! I think you'll enjoy the other members of the army I'm building. Uh, I mean militia. Uh, I mean book club. Uh, ah, forget it. Well, Orange, I'm glad we straightened out your true identity. It would have been a real bummer if we sent the normal version of you off into storage. Yeah, that would have been a real bum. Err. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I never thought I'd say this, but it's good to have you back, Orange. <laughs> oh, Orange, could I get those red glowing contact lenses back, by the way? I'm doing some experiments to eliminate red eye in photographs, and I need them. Oh, sure thing! <laughs> and also the yellow ones, please. Okay, fine. <laughs>